Good afternoon, everyone. Red Deer, Alberta. Provincial Championships gold medal match. The gentlemen in red are Cam Rich and Zach Brown. They're playing Chris Elaine and Connor Weeks. This is a gold medal match. Best of three. Cam Rich will be serving to Chris Elaine. Pulls a figure trigger first and gets a point. Congratulations, ladies. And another point. Guys are coming out aggressive and it's working well. Side out, close one. Those boys on the far side, Chris and Connor, they hit the ball hard. Oh, Cam just missing on that one, hitting the tape. Serve was long, second serve. Ooh, good defense by Connor there. Good reset. Gets it back. Another point. We're even. Zach. Very positive. Always positive with his partners. Not missed by much with these guys. Anything that's a little bit high, a little bit deep. Yeah, yeah. It's the first game? Game one, yeah. Both teams coming out hot. Big upset here. I have not seen Brad and Joel. What was that? Big upset not seeing Joel and Brad in the final? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, Brad Chapman is uh, a very strong player. Yeah. Um, the, ev these guys played well to get here. Yeah, I had the unfortunate, the <laughs> fortunate privilege of losing to both of those these teams, um, but they earned it. They played really well to be here. Yes, boy. I know that Chris and uh, Chris and Connor. Connor been working really hard and trying to get up there with the big boys and. Yeah. I'd be really happy with this. Like both of them are considered fairly new in this yes. game. Uh, Connor's been playing for about a year. Chris, right. a couple of years, maybe three. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, their games are up and comers on today. Yep. And man, can they hit the ball hard? Yes. But as they show me today, they can uh, be playing a very well-rounded game as well. Well, I heard you had a, a big win there of, of a couple of youngsters, Mr. D Sean and uh, who is his partner? Yeah, uh, Sean Senego, um, nicest guy in pickleball. Yeah. And uh, Noah. That's Noah right. Noah is another young, talented guy. He's, he's yes. already very skilled um, and he's going to be great. He's good now. He's very good now, but uh, a yeah. little more experience than he's going to be. He's going to be a special player for sure. 
Nice drop shot there. Wow. Nice top drop there from Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And even as recently as a, I'd say a couple of weeks ago, it might not have seen that out of him. Yes. He's, he's playing very disciplined, um, very smart. Wow. Cam, Cam's known for having probably the best hands in the game in Canada. Yeah. You definitely don't want to get into a gunfight with Cam. Boy, and Zach, he's a real, uh, really keeps the energy high on a team. Oh, yeah. Big basketball player. Um, or volleyball or basketball? Volleyball. volleyball? better at volleyball. Okay. He's probably good at basketball, <laughs> that's too. That's true. Oh, that's nice. Smart play by Connor. Yeah, yeah a little two hand backhand there, huh? That's yeah. really getting me popular now. I've been working on it. I yeah. still need some work on it, but yeah, it's definitely uh, something that's coming into the game. Uh. Good crowd around the championship court here. Yeah. Great facility. Yeah. yeah. Real shout out to the Red Deer Pickleball Club for being great hosts here. Being an amazing event with all their volunteers and Mike Marius, the tournament director, and I believe Kay Thule is the president of pickleball, Red Deer Pickleball. Yes, she is. Great job. Yes. Boy, pressure. Yeah. Lots of pressure, huh? Yeah, it's it's a definitely a pressure game here. Yeah. So. They call on timeout. Side here on a timeout. A little strategy, figuring out what they need to do differently. A couple of professionals here in their own right. Uh, Zach is a school teacher um, full time, Cam is a nurse uh, down in Calgary. Very good guys. Um, very good players on the court as well. Boy, that's some great conversation going on here. We're privileged to listen to it. It's just yeah. really good teamwork there, They're working it out. Great use of a timeout. Let's go. Gene White is our head referee, certified lucky enough in all our matches here at the Red Deer Provincials. Every match has been refereed by a level one, two are certified. Yeah. Well so done. So they were saying there, they were saying to go more to uh, Chris instead of uh, Connor. Try to switch that up. Wow. There it is. Very disciplined. They wanted to pull a trigger, not quite there. Wow. <laughs> Those are good hands. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just wasn't quite there, probably for yeah. Cam. He but I like Zach keeping it positive. Like, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Just keep the energy high. But yeah, that's, there we go. Get there by a couple good digs yeah. by Cam. Yeah, 
just uh, we'd like to have that last one back, but it's good for him to keep it going that long. Mm, same thing. Connor wanted that. It just wasn't quite there. That's. If you hear some hollering going on. I believe that's a, is that a 4-5 going on over there, 17 to 49 as well, over in court beside us. Gold medal match. Yeah, we've got John Hoffman, Albert Gipp there playing uh, another couple of Edmonton guys. Kevin Phillips and West Prince. I yeah, think it is. yeah. Another gold medal match. Challenge it. I'm going to say the referees didn't see it. Good control by yes. Zach. Worked his way up to the net. Kept it unattackable. <laughs> Zach giving a shout out there for the Pro Canix paddle. Yeah, I don't know how he uses that thing. <laughs> yeah. It's got no, no. Yeah, good call by Zach there. Yeah. I'm definitely not Cam good was one to rip that, that one hard. He, Cam likes to rip it for yeah. sure. <laughs> Just let me go. Yeah, man. <laughs> good time. Could have got two points. Probably would have broke the ball. Would probably <laughs> yeah. on, on uh, Chris O'Connor's chest for sure. <laughs> I hear you, Charlotte. Here we go. Here I appreciate we go, guys. you. All right, I'm your <laughs> so Chris and Connor calling the time out there. Yeah, the Zach and Cam made some adjustments. Yeah, um, had a different plan and it's working. So now Connor and Chris are going to try and do the same thing. See what they can do differently. The last two points there, Chris and Connor were trying to just do a little too much. A lot of times when you get to these lo this level of play, um, patience yes. really prevails. Yes. Everybody's got such good hands. Yeah. So game one, best of three to 11. Win by two. This is game one. Shout out to our sponsors. Sunbreak Video, Steve Deacon Pickleball, Poach Pickleball, Love yeah, and Beyond the Better Metals. Did they sponsor this? <laughs> it's a good slide in there too, Sean. <laughs> I'll have to say no, but next year is always available. I'm pretty sure they had the nicest uh, donation um, for the silent auction. Oh, that's nice um, to hear. Good. Definitely came, yeah. Selkirk Power Air Paddle that was donated. Not that Selkirk sponsors me. Um, can't remember. Awesome. I'm sure that saw an auction. <laughs> I went for a few bucks. That's a great paddle. Yeah. Okay, 772. Wow, we're getting close to the house here. Just missed. So close. Just out. Just the out. Wind, That's right. The wind just pulled that out. Exactly yeah. right. Boy, Zach, always high energy. It's a good call. Yeah. Good, good matrix by Cam. Get those. out of there. Yeah, very tough to leave those balls. But that's yes. Yeah. Oof! Just missed. Yeah. Ooh. Zach, Zach yeah. is, I would say, a master of the short hop. He, he has short hops yeah. that ball and he puts a little spin on it. And the next yeah. shot goes in the net. Wow. Good reset by Connor. Really good. All right, Connor. Cam wanted it Ernie. Yeah. Wasn't quite there. That's a good top. Oh, oh that's oh. really good. Good touch by Zach. Wow, those big arms will reach right across and grab yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Zach doesn't like that one, but uh, that is within the rules. The point doesn't start until the paddle, paddle touches the ball, so you can call a time up, out up until 
In, yeah, fairness, Paul, yeah. in fairness, Chris and Connor were talking to each other for the timeout. Yeah. Referee maybe should have. Yeah. It yeah. might be a little bit of gamesmanship. Yeah. Uh, Part of know, the game, too. It, it definitely is. Yeah. This is a sport. Yeah. I don't know if I'd say unfortunate because it is. It, yeah, you're when right. You, when I'll you get to this back. level. Yeah, um, at any level. Uh, yeah. Well, even when you get four good athletes on the court, they're all very skilled. So it does come down to often who is mentally stronger. So yeah. that be, almost becomes mental warfare at, at that yeah. point. So yeah. any little edge you get, um, the good right. or the, the strong mental players will be able to ignore that kind of stuff, move on. These guys aren't worried about it. It's not going to shake, rattle yeah. them. Uh, yeah, if it's within the rules, it's all game. Fair yes. game. Yeah. I may have pulled that one once or twice as well. I, I Sean McCartan? Sean McCartan? Never. <laughs> There's I a lot like to have fun out there. I like yes, to have you fun do. out there. All right, here we go. 8-8-1, eight, eight, game to 11. Nice drop. Ooh, got him again. He's not reading. Connor's not reading that Zach has underspin on those uh, short hop dinks, and he's catching them. That's the third one he's got him in this game. Zach and Cam have found their groove here. Yep. Bit of a roll. Yeah. Possible game point. No, Boy, Good leave game. for the yeah, game. Great. That's game one. Yeah. Definitely made some good adjustments to uh, come back to win that game. Right now. All right, so we're heading for a break. Um, back for game two. Okay, we're back for game two. Uh, Connor and Chris serving first for this game. Best of three. Not a lot of wind here, especially for Red Deer. Winds, I would say, is not a factor today, which is nice. Oops. Tough one. Chris would like to have that one back, but let's put it behind him. That was interesting how he came up through the middle there. I like that. Oh, that's really good. Good spot there. Connor put that ball just making oh Zach reach a little more than he would have liked to. Yeah, nobody likes to miss that. No, pretty rare that happens yeah. at this level, yeah. but uh, we won't see that too many more times. Yeah. 
Wow. That's a good punch. I'm going to tell you, Sean, I'm not sure if you know this. I was talking to Chris, and I asked him what paddle sport he came from. He's never played a paddle sport before pickleball. He was just a big soccer player. Yeah, no, I heard that. Yeah. Oddly enough, there's another fairly big name in pickleball that uh, was good at soccer. She, had, she retired from Annalie Waters. Oh, you didn't know that? Was she, yes, but she was also a tennis player. She had played a racket sport. She, yeah, yes. true. But, um, yeah. Good pickup by Connor. Oh. No, couldn't quite get that back, but yeah. Ooh, good drive by Cam. Maybe, maybe would have been out, but pretty tough to leave that ball. Way to keep some pressure on. Good misdirect by Zach. He's very good at that. Just uh, off pace, not where you're expecting it to go. And he catches you. Ooh, good serve. No bounce on that ball. Tough when that happens. All part of the game, though. Really good block by Connor. Right in Zach's feet. Side out. Zach would like to have with him back. Did you guys see Cam flying through the air to get that ball? Too bad it didn't pay off in the end, but it's going to be another tight game here. Good control and good finish by Zach. Well, if you can hear the applause in the background, Julie and Brian Scribney being awarded, getting an award for all of their work. They've been working really hard with the refs in Alberta. I'm really lucky to have them with us. Oh, good drop by Cam. Chris might have wanted to let that one bounce. Didn't work out for him. You do not want to put it up uh, for Chris. You will crush it. Good reset by, oh, too bad, Cam. Cam read that well. Sometimes when you get what you want, you're almost too ready, and you end up pushing out the back on that block. Do a little too much there. Get out the back.
And what came down to who was going to pull the trigger first, Cam went for it, Connor was ready, got the point out of it. Set with himself on that one. It's tough when you're moving in and playing a ball. If you're not stable, it's hard to keep it slow. <laughs> tough one. Zach was calling out, hoping Cam would leave that ball. When you're locked and loaded, ready to hit it, it's tough to leave that ball. Left at that time. Oh, originally called out, but uh, guys changed their mind. Just caught the line there. defense by Connor. Oh, got away with one there. He sped it up. Probably going to go out. Uh, I believe it's 4 4 2. Just take a minute there to award officials of the year 2022 to Brian and Julie Shribney. Well deserving. Well, all they do for our referees and the finest programs in Canada. It's good attack by Zach there, put yeah. it on the shoulder. Chris, again, tough to leave that ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zach usually puts those in, though. Wow, nice deep return. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of net love there. Yeah. Nothing you really, you can't do anything about that, Sean. Uh, I think I could, I could, I would have got that one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> With your left hand, right? <laughs> oh yeah, all day. <laughs> These guys, you know, you want to be the best, you got to get those balls. Nice. Wow. There you go. Ooh. Just a little hesitation there from Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, trying to do the right thing there. Yeah. Just tough. Sometimes I might have changed his mind on that. Time out, time out. Oh, wow. Good time out. Wow. Connor says yes. Thank you. Yeah. 641 for Zach. Cam. Yeah, and they've got game one, so uh, if they win this one, it's over. They're provincial champions. Wow, it's a battle going over there as well, over in the 4-5 division. Yeah. <laughs> going to a game three there. Yeah, 3-0 in game three, I guess, for yeah. uh, Kevin Wes and, and Kevin. Yeah. A couple of real, Ke Wes and Kevin, real strong tennis players coming into our game. Amazing cuts and t touch. Yeah, I think Wes has played some squash as well. If yep. I'm right there, he is. Got a wicked backhand. Very, very strong. That fast backhand. What's the name of the production company that's um, running things for us here? Uh, for streaming. You mean Kent? Yeah. In the booth, Sunbreak Video. Man, he's doing a good job. He does a Very great job. Very high quality. Yeah. Very professional. PPA Tour, watch out. Good eye. I tell you, Zach and Cam have got it going right now. They've yeah. got good juice going. Yeah, good call. That's a good call. Yeah, it was, it was just out. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Woo! Ball in there. 
skill level 3.5, 65 and above. Congratulations to the following players. Bronze so if anyone's wondering, uh, there's some people like know what ball we're playing. They're playing the Dura Fast 40 all weekend. I know. It makes me so happy. Everybody. You know, Franklin's cheaper, cheaper ball. But uh, the good players, they love the Dura. Even, even I like the Dura. It's yeah. good ball. So I'm it is. Yeah. Red Deer is uh, actually Red Deer supplies. Did you know they supply <laughs> balls for all their players? Like round robin play. Like, uh, no. Even, even rec play on their own. You show up here and there's always balls in the rack. That's wow. uh, very impressive. And they're Duras. These are like $5 balls. Oh, wow. Oh, That's good. good stuff. Cam Esquire nailed that one. And Twinkle Toes might want to call him after that shot. Oh, heavens. Wow. A little more net and love. It's all going for him right now. Yeah. Got, got to dig in here now, boys. Nice return. Yeah. That yeah, was, Cam wanted to leave that. He yeah. thought it was going out. Um, by the time he realized it was going to land, uh, it's a little late. That was good. Ooh. That one yeah. right yeah. on the Good line there. there. Yeah. Good sportsmanship. Yeah. Perfect return. Again, you don't you don't want to have a gunfight with Cam. Oh, yeah, good just call. Missed it, just missed it. I don't know if you heard, Kirk, there's going to be a new rule change effect next week. You hear about the, the rule no, change? I haven't. Um, it's now going to be up to the referees to make sure that players are the correct server and correct side. You can no longer be faulted if you are um, in the wrong place or the wrong server. It's up to the referee to make sure that's correct. That's coming in next week? August 14th, it's effective. That is unusual that they don't have it coming in at the year end or the new year. Yeah, it is very. there's actually, there's uh, a, I think five or six rule changes, but that's the big one. Why, why do they want to do it mid-season? I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, well, that's I, unbelievable. Like, that's a big change. It is. That That is pretty significant. Um, I don't mind it, though. Um, you know, it, it should come down to should come down to who, who plays the best on the court, and it's hard when somebody loses a point or a rally because they're standing in the wrong place. Uh, you know, no. I always, you know, no way I've thought of it till now is that, you know, you need to also be mentally strong. You should know where you're supposed to be standing, and um, you should know who the right receiver is. But sometimes you get, you know, 30, 40, 50 shot rallies. It's tough, tough to remember. Well, I, I'll give you another sport where I like to use that have been around longer in pickleball. In football, if you have too many men on the field, they wait until after the snap, and then they'll call too many men on the field. Ooh. The referee doesn't say, hey, you guys got too many men on the field. I, I agree. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's all good. Actually, I just made all that up. No, I'm kidding. It, it is happening. Yeah. I have it on very good authority that is happening. Oh, Cam just. Uh, I saw the ball up. A little bit of uh, head games going on here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Zach is a master of what sports he's played. Yeah. I was uh, refereeing a match, and one of the things you can't do is coach on the sidelines. And he ca caught Zach coaching. It's okay, Kirk. Yeah, just wanted to see how far I could go with you. And then he stopped. It was, uh, again, just as uh, where he's been in sport before. Yeah. Knowing what he can try to get away with. And I do the same thing as a hockey, hockey coach with referees. Yeah. What do they say? If you're not cheating, you're not trying? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that. Woohoo. See that grab? Got him on second base, yeah. Yeah. 
out. Reserve. Made up his mind a little early. I just was not, not there for him to go around the post. Yep. Mm, Zach would like to have that one back. The feet weren't quite set. You know, Zach always comes back with high energy. Misses a shot, makes a shot. It's yep. always the same high energy. Yep. Love it. That was a good hold. No, I wouldn't That's mind real. seeing these guys come back. I'd yeah. love to see another game. Big point here. Need one here. Kind of stuck here for a bit. Yep. Yeah. Boy, that was a big reach, Zach Scott. Yeah. It was a, a set up shot, the first one. He put up, up uh, like to say, chin height. That Chris and uh, got it back, but the next one was a winner for Zach. So just a little. I'm here with Sean McCartan. Um, I'm in a pickle and four or five or a five-o player, and Kirk Jensen, president of pickleball, Alberta. Actually finishing my last term here, and four years been president, so. Oh, and hard to hard to not push that one out. It really is. Just pressure. Yeah, Zach is a good finisher. You got more timeouts here? Might be good to have one. They do. They might want to take one, but. <laughs> Good spot there, Chris. Uh, yeah, it was. Didn't yeah. give Jack any choice. That one. All right. Here we go. Yep. Good call there, Chris. Mixed up, want to stack it up, put Connor over the right side. Oh, -ho. it's funny how that just changes sometimes. Pickle gods love change. Oh, it's a good time out. Yeah. Don't let yeah. anything get running away from you. Yeah, you can't take them home with you. Just short. Yeah. Oh, I thought I heard a tick there. Yeah, too bad. Caught yeah. his paddle, yeah. Man, 
What there a way go. to finish. Well done. Great rally. All right, here we go, boys. That is a great way to end a, a, an amazing tournament here, having a couple of amazing games there. Open division, men's doubles, gold medal. Uh, Jane, do you have something they have to sign there? All right, you want to go sign it? I know. <laughs> Zach, will do the paperwork to the referee. Jane White, our certified three, for the gold medal. All right. Connor and Chris, you guys have been an up-and-coming team all year, for a year now? Have you been playing together? A year, yeah. Yeah, a year. And I can tell you there's no two or hungrier people that I know than you guys are because I know that uh, you want to come up to this next level with these players. How do you feel you played today? It was all right? Good stuff? Yeah, we're happy overall. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we're playing against two competitors on the other side, and yeah. it was fun. Strong. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Absolutely. Chris, was there anything uh, that strategies you were doing trying to – play up against a very veteran team like this against a veteran team like, like we just trying to keep them honest yes. play it safe and and we got we got a lot of respect for their hands so we we didn't want to engage in in too many hand battles but we also got a lot of faith in our hands so yes. it was a it was a hell of a battle it was and i didn't say better i said veteran so just veteran. a veteran team yes guy very always good stuff zach and cam is, um, i'm not sure if have you guys played together maybe at pickle fest or not officially, I guess. Just a ton of rec together. Right, right. Yeah. So maybe another in the future, uh, I'll see this provincial gold medal championship team together again? I'm thinking so. I think it worked pretty well. And obviously, like, we played against two great players yes. here. And, like, you guys played awesome watching you guys in your last match. Like, I was a little bit getting a little bit nervous. And I saw that Chris and Connor, like, their hands are fast and they were on. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely partner up with Zach again if he'll, uh, if he'll take yeah, me. We'll and, keep the train yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I have to say one thing that I was really impressed with. You tell you're a veteran team because they were up on you, I think it was in the first game, and you guys came back here and had a timeout. And the conversation that you had with each other to switch it up and try some different things and different looks and different schemes really paid off dividends because it almost turned the whole tide with that timeout and the professional conversation you guys had with each other with strategy. So some people that are watching there, Zach, what, what are, when you're doing going through a timeout, what are some of the things that you like to talk about uh, in a match like this? Well, there's a way that we want to play and there's a way that they want to yeah. play and the depth control of their dinking was so perfect we couldn't speed anything up and we wanted to play fast and their hands are phenomenal but we, we trust our hands too yeah. so we wanted to play fast so we, we worked out a dinking pattern that would hopefully get a few more pop-ups from them that we not pop-ups like we smash yes. but anything yeah. even knee height that we yeah. could accelerate yeah. and i thought we got a little bit more of that yeah. well congratulations there gentlemen again an amazing match uh, great gold medal great pickleball for us to watch here at the Last 2023, or last one of the last matches of 2023 Provincial Championships. So congratulations there, Chris. Well played. Connor, great job, buddy.
And Zach, as always, Cam, good represent. Provincial champions. Zach and Connor, back to you in the Zach and Cam, back to you there, Kent in the booth.